Hello my lovelies, <laughs> Rob here from Kickback Garage. Now, in this video, I will be unboxing and talking about some uh, purpose-made scooter luggage from Moto Nostra. If that's something you fancy having a ganja of, then grab your coffee and I'll see you after the intro. Time to get the knife out. Right, well, uh, what I wanted to say while I'm packing this up is uh, the, the scene, or the, the scooter scene, can you see my head? Try and uh, balance you so that you can, oh, I can't tighten <laughs> it so tight. There we go, something like that. Anyway, <laughs> what was the saying? Oh, this, this scene, the scooter scene in no way is so small that nothing is happening here basically until uh, the middle of, or the end of August. So um, I got myself uh, the weekend off next week and uh, I decided to uh, be a bit of a nutter and I signed in for a rally in Denmark. Uh, the journey is, I think we worked out it's around uh, 900 kilometers. So what's that in uh, old money? 600 and something around uh, miles. So that's quite a long distance. And I've been looking around uh, at the scooter shops and uh, motorbike shops to try and find some posh luggage. I've, been, I've had my eye on these for a while but I just haven't taken the plunge because uh, if you've seen my other videos when I go touring and that I normally just uh, strap dry bikes to my uh, scooter here but uh, I saw these and I really fancied giving these a go so I can travel in style and what they are is uh, the Moto Nostra oh. <laughs> This can't be really, can't really be that environmentally friendly. Um, yeah, so what I, I was uh, having a look at Scooter Center's uh, website and I saw this luggage from their house brand, Moto Nostra, and it looked really nice. And these, incidentally, they will fit on uh, all modern scooters with the racks. Uh, they fit really nicely on the uh, GTS if you're that way inclined. But after watching a video, I was uh, pretty intrigued by these. And the video is in German, German, with this being a, a German brand. I thought I'd uh, give them a go and see how it works out. Now I really should put this knife away before I stick it in my luggage. <laughs> so, this is what I bought. I think it should suit the scooter quite nicely. There's a lot of rattle rattling here. Let's get it out the plastic bag. Come on. Now this is what I think I would call uh, a semi-hard case. Now these come in uh, two sizes. And initially, last week, I was going to film this last week. Initially, I bought the 35 litre uh, Moto Nostra rear bag. And uh, I was so happy with the way that it, the finish and the fit on it, that I decided to buy this cute one that comes in at 10 litre. So let's take this off. It comes with, as you can see, this is a uh, waterproof, waterproof protective what's it. And da -da, they look like this. I think they look really smashing. Now the cool thing about this is that they are in um, made out of uh, a waxed cotton fabric, but they're not soggy. They've got stiffeners in there, so they keep their shape pretty good. And even though this all looks very retro, these are actually uh, put together with uh, plastic clips that are behind. Can you see those? That are behind the uh, straps there. So when you want to get access to your uh, to your shit <laughs> then you can just open those up and click it open this incidentally at the lock is quite cute you can put your own little uh, combination cord on there so that uh, people you don't want to have in your bag uh, can't get in there and what i liked about them and this is exactly the same as the big one that i bought first um is that you've got an extra flap for extra uh, security and this is also stiff and not flimsy we like them stiff don't we ladies <laughs> um, 
And there you have it. Quite a big compartment, I have to say, for a, a 10 litre one. Now, the 35 litre one will actually fit a full size helmet, which was something I really like. So, if you're, I'm actually thinking of just strapping that on pretty permanently and uh, sticking my helmet in there and locking it up when I use the scooter to go to work. Now, another cool feature about this is what I was <laughs> going to say was it is a wax cotton material, it is water resistant. Um, but what I like about the wax cotton is, you can see already it's got these developing scuffs just from me taking it out of the uh, the bag. But uh, it'll look pretty worn in quite quickly. And uh, my experience with, I've got like a waxed uh, cotton side bag that I use on my uh, big motorbikes. And that looks really cool. It looks like a proper vintage one. And uh, But if, if you want it to look really, really pretty, then uh, it's the wrong material for you because I reckon this will this will scuff up quite nicely and it won't look out of place on the scooter. Uh, another cool feature about this, exactly the same as the 35 litre. Let me just put that in there and donate these packets of silica gel. <laughs> um, another cool feature is they've got these like pop out side pockets. Here you go, which you can push in when you're not traveling with loads of luggage or you don't need the side pockets. Um, but it does steal a little bit of room uh, inside here. But 10 liters, that looks pretty cool, that does. Um, so my hope is that I can get my sleeping system here in this bag on the front of the scooter. And the, the big bag, which is here, can you see these together lined up? Quite a big difference there. So if you see the comparison, the 35 litre, which is obviously three times as big, it is actually, it looks like a million times bigger. But I've had it on the back of my scooter and it really doesn't look out of place. Loads and loads of room, really, really like it. And as you can see, the side pockets, they're pushed in. But uh, as I'm going to pack this scooter now, I will be, using the side pockets I'm pretty sure and I'm gonna check this I'm pretty sure I can get actually get a couple of liters of uh, oil in these side pockets which is really handy nice there you go and you can see it's absolutely massive I haven't got my uh, helmet here but I have tried with a full face array helmet and that went in there nicely with room to spare and they're pretty solid they're not too heavy but heavy duty enough another thing that i want to uh, show you is this this is the moto nostra rear wheel <laughs> uh, bag or a uh, spare wheel bag i thought this was pretty genius to tell you the truth if you have a spare wheel now i have got my spare wheel on the back of the scooter, as you can see there. <laughs> but uh, if you've got it on the front of the scooter, uh, probably even more handy than, <laughs> than having it on the back. I just bought this actually as a novelty, but it will fit um, a mobile phone. I don't think mine will fit in there, to tell you the truth. Mine's a bit big. Let's have a look. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Nah, not with its cover on. I've got one of these like protective, protective uh, wallet thing co covers on there. That, it's not gonna go in there. And it doesn't really bother me to tell you the truth because what I was thinking here is if you was going to use this as some sort of uh, GPS or something like that, it's going to be quite hard to uh, quite hard to read with this in the tire in the leg shield. You're going to have to take your eyes off the road quite far. So not too worried about that. I can have some uh, spark plugs, something like that, maybe a chocolate. <laughs> and in here... You can, you've got various pockets for small bits and bobs. Obviously, I put my tools in uh, in the toolbox on this, but uh, you've got a nice zipper pocket on the one side, and on the other side, you've got this like divider. And if you are doing a small trip to town or something like that, you've also got this fancy strap and you can carry it around with you. So if you've got your values in there, you can have a proper man bag. <laughs> not, my kind, not my kind of thing. I'm not 
<laughs> gay enough for that. But uh, it seems to uh, just strap onto the uh, spare wheel using these uh, Belco straps. And uh, yeah, I thought that was a bit cute and it wasn't that expensive. And because I ordered this, I uh, threw in one of these. The only thing is, this is, I was pretty sure I ordered the same color, but this is a uh, slightly different color to the uh, front and rear baggage. Another thing I want to show you is, I think it's easier if I show you on this baby, baby bag, is that it comes already attached with straps. This is a proper top box. So you've got straps at the bottom here, and you've got this uh, rear strap here, so that you can attach it. My cobble box, my makeshift table is moving. Uh, so this should be pretty easy to be able to strap onto my racks and it has the small one here has two fixing straps on the back there which should fit uh, securely on my front rack and then you've got two at the bottom so that's really not going to go anywhere and another thing I noticed as well is on the big one there's actually uh, more straps or the same amount of straps but what you can also do if you want to you could use these like fixing positions can you see those where the straps uh, themselves at the bottom go if you want to uh, keep the luggage on your scooter uh, or the bag and uh, are frightened that someone would just uh, unclip it and take it away with them you can actually zip tie the bugger to the bottom so that it's going to be a little bit more awkward for them to take it with them right what i want to do now really is attach it to the scooter and see how it looks right so that is the luggage strapped to my uh, rear carrier rear. Now, um, what I ended up doing was, uh, at the bottom, the straps at the bottom, I ended up doing like sort of an over-under type thing because I've got three bars at the bottom. So I went round, round the back, round the front, and then up under the one in the middle. And you've got a securing strap at the back here. So when everything's in place, you just like snug it into place there. And you've got two at the side. I've just uh, put those on the side and it's really quite quite sturdy that is i'd probably <laughs> be able to lift my scooter up with that i'm not going to try that <laughs> um yeah so i like that really much and it's and uh as you can see it's got this nice classic look to it and i will take extra straps with me just in case uh something happens here because this is a test but i have noticed that the uh these central or side straps that uh, hold the buckle into place here and where the um, uh, buckle in the back for the straps is uh, situated it's all riveted with the proper uh, what looks like um, brass rivets and so is the handle as well on the top there so uh, yeah I think it's sturdy I think it looks really good another bonus I reckon is this those side pockets on this 35 litre <laughs> actually fit probably the most awkward bottle of oil to get with you, which is the um, uh, Castrol Power One. And I reckon I could easily fit two of those just in one pocket there. So that's really handy. Now let's have a look how it looks like with it all zipped up. Uh, take it up like this, and then you've got these zips that aren't done up at the moment. And securing Melco at the front there and uh, nice easy access into the bag there and, and I have to say it is once you've pushed out these pockets it's quite a lot of space 35 litres at a push uh, I reckon I could almost fit everything that I need apart from uh, tools uh, for a full weekend's ride. I know the guys in in the UK, I saw you go, uh, going on the Euro Lambert, uh, you like to have everything and the kitchen sink, but uh, I like to travel a little bit lighter. But uh, definitely, if you're having a weekend trip or something like that, one of these on the front and one of these on the back. I've got the, like I said, I've got the uh, 10 litre at the front, but I do have a little problem with the uh, 10 litre. And uh, I'll, we'll have a look at that in a second. But first, I want to show you this fancy. I'm not sure if you can see it. I have to check my camera angle. There you go. You've got this fancy in the spare wheel uh, bag. 
I quite like this. It's nice. Now, you're not going to be able to fit a full a bunch of it's right. If you want, you could put your oil like this and sort of semi zip it up, but that's not going in there. But what I tend to do when I'm going on to rallies is to get as much oil as I need because I really don't want to rely on a petrol station. The funny thing is with Denmark, there's on the back roads where we ride, there are lots and lots of petrol stations, but they're the unmanned typed. So you can't really get hold of uh, two-stroke oil. And I don't like switching stuff. Maybe it's, <laughs> it's superstition. I don't like switching stuff like that um, while I'm mid-ride or in a rally. So I tend to carry all the oil that I need uh, on that sort of a trip. I think I've worked it out to about probably two litres. I've got a uh, almost a litre in my leg shield there. And... I've got a couple of these in my toolbox as well as my tools, but these are really handy. They're the Polini uh, measuring jugs. And because I'm an idiot and can't work out percentages, <laughs> uh, this does it for you. So you fill it up. Uh, if we turn it around here, 3% in my particular case, that's what I use. Got 3% here. Fill it up to you, and that, that'll give you 8 litres, which is probably about what I fill every tank. I mean, my tank does 11 litres, but I start to get uh, a bit worried after about 100 kilometres, so 120 kilometres, so uh, I tend to fill it up a little bit earlier. Uh, yeah, but these, quite handily, probably one, two, three, four, maybe. Let's see how many I can get in there and actually close the top. Yeah, I can fit at least three in there quite handsomely. So that does for at least uh, three full tanks of uh, two stroke. I quite like it. The front pockets here, pretty useless. Um, probably okay, mobile phone, stuff like that, keys, stuff like that. And uh, it does utilize a bit of place, a little bit of space, I was gonna say, that you don't actually uh, manage to ut utilize uh, otherwise. I quite like that, that's, that's a cute little thing. With this like posh, Motor Nostra uh, brass logo on the front there, the same as uh, is on the back. Let's have a look at that front rack. So here we have the uh, bag that I was going to fit to the front rack. Unfortunately for me, um, in Scandinavia, we have daytime running light laws and it just blocks because of the type of front rack that I've got on. I haven't got the flippy up one. I hate those. The flippy up ones tend to... Uh, uh, interfere with your front light when they're folded down so I uh, tend to go for the one that isn't uh, foldable it's just a, a, a rack and unfortunately with this bag my headlight is uh, blocked somewhat probably about three quarters of the way um, probably no problem in the UK but in uh, Norway and I saw some guys going to Eurolambert they had like loads of stuff on the front of their scooters uh, that's not going to work for me because I really don't fancy getting a, a hefty fine because of uh, the blockage to my front light. But otherwise, it's a very nice bag and I haven't got buyer's remorse because what I'm thinking of doing is when I come back home from Denmark and I'm going to be using this for work, this 10 litre uh, job it will be quite nice on the back of the scooter. It doesn't uh, look as big as the uh, the other one. The 35 litre and I'm thinking that is uh, enough for uh, a change of clothes and my wallet and stuff like that when I use this scooter uh, to go to work in so I think I'm gonna do that so I'm gonna end up uh, it looks like at least I'm gonna end up having to uh, put my tent and my sleeping bag and strap it to the front with uh, rubber bundles like I normally do Never mind, it's a bit of a shame because it looks, I think at least, let me move it a little bit. You can sort of make your mind up yourself. That does look pretty. I think that looks pretty classic. Classic and nice. It's just such a shame. It's just touching. Yeah, that's just the way it is. But that, that's got nothing to do with the bag. If I had a rack which uh, sat lower towards the front mud guard, it probably would have been uh, a lot, lot easier. But that's just a look at the drawer, I suppose. Uh, they can't make them so that they fit absolutely everything. I reckon uh, 
this probably fit lovely on uh, GTS and I imagine they fit a lot better on those uh, lower racks with the fully up uh, bar at the front but uh, that's that's the way it is but as you can see this has also got the same sort of details that the one on the rear has got got these nice uh, very sturdily riveted on leather pieces you've got the quick release system the ratchets which is cleverly hidden with uh, with the leather strap this uh, motor nostra front bike there makes it go classy and if you take it off the bike uh, off the scooter you can carry it around with you i really like these so if anything happens to these on the journey down to denmark i am taking my camera by the way and um I'll be filming, I think we're going to ride down the west coast, but uh, you'll have to see that in a couple of weeks when I release that video. So, I love you and leave you, and I'll see you all in, that's right, in the next one. Ta-ra! <laughs>